I was trying to think of a, an interesting way to start this, and I, I just thought, yeah, here we are. So, playing some game dev tycoon today. Should be pretty interesting. Um, back in high school, like a couple months ago, it was more like a couple months ago, back in high school several months ago, uh, I majored partly in game development. I hated it, but this game is the fun version of it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to set my camera up. Hopefully my camera is good. <clears throat> Please don't be messed up. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna get it right. My throat is dry. I got a new jug of water. Wait. Audio warning. This is gonna be loud. It might not have been as loud as I thought it was. Water. <sighs> so I was kind of holding my breath a little bit. <clears throat> Feels better. Okay. Let's start a new game. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. I've played through this game a couple of times, so I do know kind of things about things. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best selling games. Gain fans and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give up. You have to give up. <laughs> Before you do anything, you gotta give up. Everything starts at the lowest point. That's kind of a good point. Give your upcoming company a name. X on... X on code gaming. <laughs> and because it's like online artist. It, it's kind of like that. <laughs> Player. X online artist. Because that's who me am. And I gotta design me. Well, they don't have any t shirts, but they have black shirt. No, because I've gone through this game a couple times, and I always have that same design character. What? Who? Who am I? The only person with my skin and hair color. It's about the extent of the customization of this game, because they they don't separate those things individually. Like, if you wanted this hair, but blonde, no. Because what I want is. This hair, but and that's not my skin tone. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm sour cream white. Titanium white, if you will. Okay, let's look at these settings. <clears throat> we'll go for 35, pirate mode. Eh, we'll have it off. We'll just go for a normal game. And let's begin. Oh, so for the game before, you can choose to use all previously gained hints. No. If you ever want to review tutorial messages, yada yada. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here up in the zone, you like limited yada yada. What? Uh, talk. Picks do we have? 
<clears throat> well, I know we can probably make a good horror adventure for the PC. That's a text-based game called... <laughs> it's just been to, to the music. I have not been thinking about a name. Um... Swamp. Swamp. A horror adventure? Or would it be horror action? Would be a good one. We gotta start with a hit. We gotta start with a hit. <laughs> a horror action or a horror adventure? Horror adventure? Horror action. Okay, text-based, because it's like one of them cool text-based games that they used to make. I made one of them. It was short, but I made one of them. <clears throat> Swamp. In game development, we're into three stages in this game. <laughs> so for these stuff, I don't know exactly what all these even mean but they're there how I always think of it is the engine for how good the game's gonna go because it's text-based we don't have to focus on that too much but it's an action game and that would need a lot so we're gonna leave it right there gameplay we would want kind of up a little bit story and quest we want up all the way because it's a text-based horror action game because it's an action game, we're going to balance these out a little more. Bam. <laughs> game development has now started. Yada yada, I know all this. Things go into the bubble spots. Dialogues should be high-ish because it's text-based. Level design doesn't need to be that high. AI can be about there, it's fine, maybe a little higher. About right there. I'll do that. I'm trying to take things into account a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's telling you about the extra things you can put on. World design doesn't have to be too high, we're gonna slightly bring it down. Graphics the same, sound the same so I guess if we have to pick stuff the world design would be high graphics would be low and sound would be moderate got quite a bit of bugs Alrighty. Swamp. My voice failed to come out. Swamp. That's more like it. Release Swamp. And while that's happening, we generate a game report on Swamp to be most efficient. Now, let me guess a 4.75. Four point five. I was almost there. <laughs> I overestimated myself. Exxon Code Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released the first game Swamp. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Exxon Code Gaming will deliver in the future. Sold a thousand units on day one. 
or week one rather. Pretty nice. Horror and action is great. Story and quest is not important. I think I said that it was. PC and action is good. Game reports are a great way to gain more research. Cool. Uh, let's do a new game. Pick topic. I still don't understand what abstract as a topic is that much. Let's do superhero simulation game for the PC. What should we call it? Flyman. <laughs> Flyman. Fly. Man. Flyman. Fly, man. Go left one more time. Bruh. Okay. Flyman. Flyman. The names are just funny. Alright. So for Flyman, Flyman. High. Somewhat high engine. Kind of high gameplay. Story and quests can be. Well, it's a simulation game, so you'd think these would have to be kind of high. So let's go for about there, even though I'm pretty sure one of them should be like halfway down. I'm not sure exactly which one. I guess engine. I'll give that a try. Uh, we can leave that about to there. This about here. It's about here. I really don't know. Trying to kind of balance things out where one's in the middle, one's down, and one's up. I may have played this game before, but it was mostly thanks to the amount of time that I played it and how many hints that ended up getting me. Well designed down, graphics up a little bit. Sound also up a little bit. Let's go for this. So not as high on the bubble lip things. Let's see if I can get one more. One more. Enough. Tied world record here. Not world record, my record. So then we click. Forty-five thousand in sales generator game report on Flyman Flyman. And let's see how Flyman Flyman did. If I had to guess, three point two five. A superhero simulation is a terrible combination. I guess I could have learned that from Superman 64. But Spider-Man. Well, it did better than my last one. Got a 5 flat. Ouch. <laughs> nice. We have 8 fans because of Flyman Flyman. We have a terrible combination, graphics is important, PC simulation is great. Let's make a new game. A... An abstract adventure. I don't know. On the PC. Call it like... Cherry pit. <laughs> I just thought of a, a random title that could be like, huh, abstract, like art. 
2D graphics. If it's abstract, you'd think it would be very visual based. And going by that logic, none of this helps me. <laughs> I guess let's get story and quests way up because it's an adventure game. Gameplay kind of there. Engine. We've been keeping engine down a bit. Let's kind of swap that around for once. We're getting lots of blips. It's probably going to say the G64 is really good. Uh, it's an adventure game, so you want level design for sure. Uh, AI can kind of be about there. Dialogues kind of... Let's just throw it down a little bit more. World design, uh, definitely up. Graphics can be there. Sound can be down there. So we got new records around the board. One more. No. <laughs> All right, double new records. That's nice. There we go. Cherry pit. I'm going to guess 5.5. I was wrong. Was I? Yeah, I was wrong. It's going to be like 4.75. Five across the board again. I've never gotten a 10, 10, 10, 11 in this game. We got some more fans there. Uh, abstract Adventure is great. Engine is not important. I don't remember what I did with engine. Uh, I think I tried to move it up. Huh. PC and adventure is great. Uh, we got a bit of money. Let's see what we can research. New topic, Wild West Dungeon, Spy and Ninja. Well, dungeon is a good thing that... Oh, contract work, All right. <clears throat> well, I know Dungeon is good with text base. I feel like there's just something slightly blocking my voice out. Hold on. Can I, how do I... Give me a sec. I don't have any mods in this game. I wonder what mods could do. I wonder if there's more customization. Odds. <clears throat> Let me mute myself when I clear my throat. Okay, well, I cleared my throat. Do I sound better? I don't know. Let me look at the settings. Cool, okay. <laughs> uh, let's do some, some contract work real quick. Just for fun. A uh, real simple one. I don't think I'll be able to do this. Might not be able to do this. Whoops. <laughs> Let's make a new game. It's what we're best at. A dungeon Adventure. Dungeon RPG. On the PC. Let's call it... Dun dungeon. 
Dungeon. No. <sighs> Trying to get the cogs turned in my brain. Dungeon <laughs> back here. Uh, dungeon uh... Dungeon Doubloon. No, it's a dumb. Um Treasure. Get her. <laughs> Treasure getter. Treasure getter. Let's make get a text based game. They're cheap. It's an RPG game. We want those. And you can stay there. Gameplay can go down, maybe. Uh. Instead of that, we do this again. <laughs> Cherry Pit did well for being a terrible combination. Or was that the game before? No, that was the game before. Um, who needs good AI? Level design can go down. Let's bring dialogues up a little. Level design can go lower. Let's try this. World design can go down, graphics can stay here, sound can go up, except no graphics can go up and sound is in the middle. Well, world design can go up. Graphics are in the middle. Sound is low. Okay. Doesn't look like we'll be breaking many records here. Unless we do. We might break or tie. Yep. Tied and broke the record. And levels up across the board. Always good to see. Generator game report on treasure getter. <laughs> nah, it started out high. Six. Seven. My new dungeon text based games did well. Six point five, pretty good. Mm, pretty good sales. Nice. Great combination. Story and quest is important. Like I said, I think PC RPG is good. Let's start a new game already. Uh, let's make Friday Night Funkin' a. What would you even call it? <laughs> a dance strategy game, I guess? Uh, hold on, let me look up what this word means. Oh, that's my alarm. I have to wake up. Good morning. I need to turn all of them off. <laughs> I have a lot of alarms. Okay. That word wouldn't have been right. So what about this one? Okay. 
Okay. I got it. Tubular Tuesday. <laughs> because it's like, oh, it's totally tubular. Like they used to say in ye olden times. <laughs> 2D graphics. Tubular Tuesday. It's a dance strategy game, so engine would be important, story would be down, gameplay would be moderate. I am fairly confident in all of those choices. Ten K units from Treasure Getter? Will it get her me the treasure? That's horrible. Why did I say that? <laughs> okay, it's a strategy game. AI needs to be good. Level design. Uh, yeah, let's just leave it as it is. It's a strategy game. It's a strategy game. Can my voice exist? <laughs> okay. Um, none of these matter that much. I guess we can leave it like this. It doesn't look like many records will be broken with Tubular Tuesday. Despite being the first game where I'm leveled up, I think. Can we get anything else? Okay. <laughs> release game and 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 see let's see I'm guessing it will flop oh wow it's going to flop how did I know because I've guessed many things and this is the first time I've been right about a guess Let's go into what's high score? Oh, okay. Uh, settings, tutorials, messages, message queue, platform news, industry news, research, milestones, yada yada yada. If that's fine. Tubular Tuesday is not doing too well, but we're still in the green. Dance and strategy is a terrible combination. Makes sense, I guess. <gasps> AI is important. I think I said that. Let's make a new game. Let's research a new game topic. Wild West game. <clears throat> we have researched the Wild West. So let's make a Wild West action game. Called Called what? Dual deal. I don't know. <laughs> P 
food graphics. <laughs> While generating game reports, you start to gain insights. Yada yada. Okay, so we know this goes down, which means this will be up and this will be moderate. <clears throat> okay, it's an action game, AI high, dialogue low, level design, medium. I love carrots. Sounds like the TikTok AI voice. No, it's I love corn. It's an action game. Um, world design. Let's put that moderate. Sound can be down. Graphics can go. Uh, no, let's do like this. I think that would do well. So Wild West, you gotta hear the ding, ding, the bullets clanking off everything. One more. Two more, thank you. My first game where it's tech over design. Let's see how this game does. Alrighty then. <sighs> I am very yawny. Let's see how Dual Deal does. If I had to guess, slightly below average. Average being five. Oh, slightly above average. Was not expecting that. Now, if I incorrect, that's a 6.75 rating. My worst game so far has been Tubular Tuesday. Almost 5k in the first week. Good combination sound is important. That's what I said. I'm learning with my brain hole. Should we do some contract work? Let's see about some constraints work. <sighs> Woo! We did it. Yeah, baby. I feel like this next game is gonna be close to the big game that gets us out of here. So let's hopefully get a good new topic. Can I stop it? <laughs> I don't want to yawn. Why did week three do better than week one? Huh. Spy simulation. PC spy game. Spy game. 
spy game. Spy. Spy. Now it's clever. Text based. Spy. I held that one a little bit. Simulation game. Story and quest should be high, maybe. Gameplay should be down, maybe. Engine should be normal, maybe. It's a simulation game. Dialogue should be high. Level design should be all right. Artificial intelligence should be e. Nice. Target audience. Don't forget custom game engines. The not yet. Graphics max. Uh, let's put sound down, world design up. Because it's a simulation game. You want to feel immersed. Like how I feel immersed right now. Definitely. Definitely and totally immersed. Thankfully that wasn't a bug. Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. There we go. Spy. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. That's better. That's better. 3.5. Sad, but I'll take it. <laughs> not many sales there. Dialogue is not important for a spy simulation game dialogue is not important what what that's not how it works you're breaking the law imagine a spy game where you're playing as like a detective well that's not a spy game that's a mystery game dang it You can pause those and read them if you'd like. Okay, let's go for a horror action. Like my first game, make it a mature title and call it Murder in maroon, like the color maroon, which is red, which is blood, and blood is murder, and murder he makes blood, murder in maroon. Hey, makes sense, I swear. <laughs> Story and quests is not very important. It's an action game. Gameplay should be up, engine should be up, but gameplay should be higher. It's an action game. You want to play high-paced action. Okay, it's an action game. You don't care about what the people are saying. You don't care what things look like. You want to fight the cool enemies. Yeah.
sound is high because it's telling me to. Mm, the other stuff aren't very important. So graphics will go here. World design will go here. And sound will go up a little more. As will graphics. World design goes down. Go. Okay, we got new records. If I can get a couple to sign. One, two, three. Okay, records. Wow. Generate a game report. Murder in Maroon. How's it gonna do? It's gonna be a smash hit. Bang! I got to like second, third base. I got a third base of that swing. I lost fans because my last game that said I just got them all back. Level design is important. PC and mature is great. What next? New topic Ninja. A ninja. RPG. It's weird because the things that don't sound good, you could actually make them good if your game is good enough. Like, if you really wanted to. You can make a ninja adventure game. They did do that. Not very well as far as I remember. But you can make a ninja adventure game if people like it. Ninja RPG. Because you're role playing as ninja. For Benaik. No. Blevin. Just that single blevin. The rate E for everyone. Blevin. <laughs> Story quest is up. RPG so gameplay can be alright. Engine is high-ish. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> we'll see about it uh, once I am done here. So this can go down, this can go up. Eleven. <laughs> this one really doesn't feel that special. Let's just go with yes. My eyes were fading for a moment. Just a moment. <laughs> I will not stop until I get my smash hit. I made no bugs this game, huh? Interesting. Blevin. Let's see what a success Blevin is. Uh...
Ooh. I will take whoever it was. Six. He will take a six for Blevin. Casual games. Alright, let's try a new game. Something I've pretty much never done before. A... I don't know. It's... To research a new topic. Cooking. In casual games. Cooking first, I guess. Down, down, down. Casual games. Casual games. Develop a new game. A cooking game. Rated E for everyone. A cooking casual game. For the... Tess. They have to pay $80,000. And that's why I've never done this before. But this one's gonna be a smash hit. You know, it's gonna be called... Baking Babysitter. Rated E for everyone. Baking Babysitter. Like Cooking Mama. Please go well. I beg of you. <sighs> Gameplay should be high. Story and quest should be alright. Engine can be kind of low. Casual game. There really isn't any AI. Level design would be highest, but probably not max. Dialogue would be about there. I feel like I'm forgetting how to speak slowly. It's. It's a casual game. Graphics, good. Sound is fine. World design, leave it. Please let this game do well. Didn't break any records, but... Be good. All things considered, a 7.75 is okay. 15k in one week. Woohoo! Okay, cooking casual is great. Dialogue is not important. Graphics is important. 
can't remember if I said that was or wasn't. This research into topic. <laughs> Surgery. Surgery. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so now we can make a new game, which is a some. Surgery simulation game. Do I have a license still? Yes. But it wouldn't exactly be good there. So let's do this. I'm rated him for mature. Call it. Hmm. Doc Tur Doctor PhD. The name is Doctor PhD. Simulation game. Mm. 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 Marketing. I feel like this game could be bad. Let's market it. Alright, we can't. We have to research marketing. Dialogues is not important. But what is important is not artificial intelligence level design is the most important of all that. Nice. 50k units sold. Graphics max. Sound high. World design medium sound. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be new records across the board. Yes. Now let's see the money roll in. If you have more than 1 million cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. Okay. <laughs> and survey says Nice. Let's move. New ones. Exxon Code Gaming. Okay. <laughs> Surgery simulation is great. World design is not important. Don't know what I did there. Um, let's end it off with contract work. And then I'm going to go. <laughs> Please let me do this. 100k units sold by the second week. Nice.
According to our market research, the recently published Doctor PhD is a surprise hit with players, see? The developer Exxon Code Gaming is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. I'll tell you what happens next. I say it. I, 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 I can't, I can't continue. I know this is a short stream. I wanted to keep this going for a while, but I got hit like a brick wall. Okay. That's all I have to say. Uh, let me just save this up. Get that save in the right spot. Yes. Okay. Alright. Are there mods for this game? There is. What are the mods for this game? Let me, let me, let me, let me look. Samsung Smart Fridge. Why? Cheats? How do you mod this game? It's English. Uh, game Dev Tycoon. Game Engine. Version 2. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. More research. Target hint. Learn by doing better mod. Alright. I won't take a look at that later. But what I will do is say down below the stream. We have the Instagram, Twitter, Discord, my portfolio, as well as the follow button. If you haven't pressed that, I appreciate it. If you did, we also have a YouTube channel where I post every day at a PM PST, but I probably won't do it tonight because I'm going to take a nap and I don't know when I'll wake up. But if I wake up on time, it'll be up sometime around 8, hopefully. And if not, it'll be up sometime later tonight or tomorrow. 